okay, you want to impute data with KNN. The first thing you want to do is scale the variables, which will be continuous because KNN imputer at the current stage in scikit-learn can only run and work only with uh, numeric features. So if you have categorical variables, you will have to do some kind of one-hot encoding or something like that. So the first thing you want to do is uh, import either the standard scaler or the minimax scaler from uh, sklearn.preprocessing. You want to specify your train and test data, and then you want to scale them according to the parameters learned from the train data. So we, we run this really quickly, and we have the, and we have the train data scaled. Let's see the output. Great. So our data are scaled and. Uh, you can see that the non values are still here, so that's fine. And then we want to import from scikit-learn.impute the KNN imputer. Again, KNN imputer can only work uh, with scaled continuous data. If your data are not scaled, then this will be suboptimal and may lead to a lot of bias in the imputed values. So, what you want to do after that is fit the data. Actually, you want to fit the train data. So, what it does, it's what it does it is that it saves the train data and some distance matrices, and then you want to use the dot transform to transform the train and possibly the test data that you have. You will also need to optimize the number of neighbors. So here I have just put one neighbor and boom, you have your imputation here. So imputed with one. So the idea behind this is that it uses an Euclidean distance to find for each missing value uh, the non-missing value samples in the data and use uh, the K uh, or nearest neighbor selected to impute with that value. What you really want to do is uh, use this into cross-validation and hyperparameter optimization and try values for K equal to 1, 3, 10 and square root of the number of samples. So you do that and can, then KNN imputation is a very good method.